Hello, I'm Kiam Seng. Welcome to the last part of the cabling system tutorial. We are going to create cable trays on the cable way that we have modeled. As I'll be doing a lot of picking in the cable way area, I'm just going to switch off the cable way and use center line to represent the cable way. Let's select our first cableway branch and we are going to create the cableway material. The system is able to extract the width and height from the cableway branch. Let's use auto naming and create the material element. Once the cable material is created, more options are available. First, we are going to create some preliminary dressing. We are going to use dimension defined by user. We can actually dress with the cables rooted or no cables rooted at all. For this case, since we have no cables rooted, I've used the dimensions created by users. So we are allowed to adjust the attributes and select the specification. When we dress the cable way, we are creating elements that stores information about every piece of cable tray material required. The cable tray material information is taken from the specs that I've chosen. Once we are done with this, we can actually apply real material to the cable tray dressing. You can see that the cable tray material is held below the cable dressing element. Please note that this cable tray specification is based on the cable item. The CE is for cable tray material. So let's go to the next cable way and create material for the next cable way. We create the cable tray material element and we will dress and substitute with cable tray material just as before. Now the cable way has been dressed with some straights and risers. Let's apply the material. There's an error. The reason is because we haven't selected the cable tray specification. Now the cable tray material is applied correctly. Let's go on to another of the cable way. We do the preliminary dressing. This time I remember to select the cable tray specification. There's a warning because they cannot find a 300mm riser in our specification and they have asked whether they can use the 151mm riser. Let's apply the material. We see that there's an extra piece of reducer from the reducing key, so we do not want the reducer to be there. Let's remove the material. And now let's remove the dressing. And we do the dressing in two parts. First with the band first, and then 
with straight. And now we apply the material again. We get what we want. Thanks for following me till the end of the video. See you again soon. Bye.